All right, so today we're going to be working on an A1534 that was sent in from one of those lovely mall franchises. As the note says, we are shipping the following. A1534 12-inch MacBook early 2016 to Rossman Repair Group on 5-8-2018 to have the USB-C charging port diagnosed and repaired. There was a previous attempt to repair the device. Ahem. Shut up, phone. There was a previous attempt to repair the device by replacing the charging port flex and the U4700 as seen in a video by Rossman. Thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, and they posted here the original chip. Now, the reason this is scary to me is that my video on the A1534 MacBook and its flaw is concerning the 2015 model, not the 2016 model. So why you took that chip off when this video was on the 2015 model is beyond me. So let's take, a, let's take a look and see if this is the 2016 model, and let's see what we can do. You gotta be careful. So first you gotta open it up like this, then you gotta open up the bottom very carefully, because this little cable, see this cable? This is a trap laid by Apple. So if you do not disconnect this cable while the machine is half open, if you wait to open the machine entirely before unplugging things, you will rip the cable. This is indeed the 2016 model. And you can tell by the USB-C IC over here the CD3215. This is in the 2016 model, not the 15 model. First things first, let's turn on the multimeter, plug in my USB-C charger. First thing I want to do is see how much voltage is showing up on the main power line, which is the input fuse. Right over here is our charging port, J9600, which we sell, by the way, if you ever break it on store.rossmangroup.com. And we're going to look up J9600 over here. And J9600 is going to have a power line, PPV bus LIO, there we go. And that's gonna go through F3050. F3050 is this fuse right over here. So let's see how much voltage we get on that fuse. All right, as you can see, we have some mall, mall messery over here. Can, uh, so this is, this does not look like it's plugged in right. This piece of metal, instead of being slid under here, is screwed right over this, that's all bent. All right, I'll do the first measurement, but I'm not expecting this to even be plugged in properly at this point. So at the input fuse, we get 5.2 volts. Now remember, we're supposed to be getting something along the lines of 20, which means that communication is not occurring. Mall shops are mo not all the time, but a lot of the times the worst. All right, so the first thing that scares me is they said that they replaced U4700. And I don't even know if this board has a U4700. So let's go ahead and figure out what the fuck they did. So, U4700 on this board is... It doesn't exist! What the fuck did you replace? Tell me, what did you replace? It says, I re replaced U4700. We, this is a, there was a previous attempt to repair the device by repairing, by replacing the charging port flex and U4700 as seen in a video by Rossman. Where is U4700? Where is U4700? Find me U4700. Where? No matches were found. What the fuck were you doing? Why? Did my video did not say to do this. Do not credit me with this fuckery. Okay. I'm just going to start looking around the board for shit that looks burnt and assume that it was them. Let's see. Let's, let's do that. Fucking horseshit. Fucking horseshit. My videos do not teach you this. Here, let me show you what my video teaches you to do. If you have the year prior to this one, so let's go over and find that. Board schematics, uh, 8200045. If you have this model, the 2015 model, there is a U4700 chip that goes bad. If you have a different fucking board, different fucking board, you do not replace a chip that doesn't even exist. What did you even do? Did you just like... What, what, what could this place possibly have done? Like, oh, let's look up a chip that looks almost like that one and just repeat that. What if you put a different chip there than what's actually supposed to go there? What about that? What the fuck am I supposed to do there? All right. Let's, let's look. Let's see. So, let, okay, you tell me when you see something that looks like it was burned and fucked up by a mall. Wasn't the original chip taped to the computer? Yes, but I have to figure out where it is on the board. Because see, watch, check this out. They said they replaced U4700. When I click this and I type U4700, 
don't fucking exist. It's not on this board. What did you replace? Where is the shit that you replaced? So now I'm going to make the assumption that if you're dumb enough to replace a chip that doesn't exist, you're probably do tum too dumb to solder it properly, which means that I should be able to find it. All right. And here we go. I see a burned connector. Look at that. It's a burned connector, which means that somewhere nearby is probably your shit soldering. Do I see cold solder joints? Yes, I do. All right, it's this one. It's this one. Where you see cold solder joints, a mall repair shop is not far behind. Look at this shit. This fucking shit. All right, so that. All right, so now let's figure out what the fuck this is. So it says S45AV. Okay, so what they did is they put the U4700 from the 2015 machine there. What is that chip actually for? Okay, so according to the 2016 board view, that's U1900. So let's see what U1900 is. Okay, so check this out. This, 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 is, this is fucking great. So what they did, on the 2015 model, that chip is an SLG4AP645AV. On the 2016 model, that is a clock generator. So this mall store claims that my video told them to remove a chip that is designed for communication and replace it with a 25 megahertz clock generator. Oh, it's just a rectangle. It looks the same. It's just like a Lego. We could just take this Lego and put it in that Lego. Why don't I take your parents' pacemaker and replace it with a remote control? Or maybe like take your microwave and replace it with a toaster? Or take your ultrasonic cleaner and replace it with, an, with a rifle? Like, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. No, 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 no. You don't take this chip and put it where this chip is supposed to go. This chip over here is used for something else. This over here has SPI data lines. It talks to the charger. This is a clock chip that generates a clock signal. This board? This board is probably junk now because you are an idiot. And if you're watching this and you sent this to me, good. I don't care if you think I'm unprofessional. This is stupid. Don't destroy your customer's shit. This, this has the customer data soldered onto the fucking board. If you fuck this up, that customer will never, ever, ever get their data back ever again. And that's because you are an idiot. And you shouldn't be doing this. If you don't know how to figure it out, say, I don't fucking know. Go to this place. If you don't know how to figure it out or you're confused or if you can't read the name of a fucking chip to realize that two rectangles are not the same just because they're black little boxes, that's cool. Say, hey, I'm not sure. Don't do this because you're fucking with people's data. You can't get the data back on this if you fuck up the board. They're stuck sending this shit to some place like Drive Savers or something where they're going to charge them five or $40,000 to desolder the crap and try to decrypt it and probably fail as you can see from Jess's recent video, but... Why? All right. So first thing I got to do is find a tooth. I don't think I even have that clock chip. So I got to find a donor 2000 and I got to find a donor 2016 board. Or may maybe I can reuse the original chip that they have here. Let's see. So at least they included the original chip. Scotch tape to the fucking machine. Fucking idiot. It's really sad because of the amount of work that we put in on a regular basis to make this industry look more legitimate. The amount of lobbying work that we put in, the amount of arguing work that we put in, the amount of educational work we put in. Do you know how frustrating it is to put that much work and effort into a business and that much effort into legitimizing your ability to have a job when this is what you do with it? Because somewhere out there, there's some Apple lobbyists saying these people shouldn't be allowed to work on this stuff. We should be confiscating all their parts at the border. We should be suing them for this, that, and the other. And when I see shit like this, it's like, yeah. Yeah, they got a point. People like shouldn't be allowed to work on people's shit. All right. So. First thing I'm going to do, which they didn't do, is cover the keyboard connector and trackpad connector with a shield. Because if I cover it with a shield, I won't destroy it with hot air while I'm replacing this chip on the side. This, I mean, there's no excuse for this. And to be clear, I have no problem with somebody saying, I don't know any, I don't know any better. This ignorance is totally okay. 
it's just not okay to ruin people's stuff when you, you're aware you have no idea what you're doing, you know you're probably making it worse, you don't even have the presence of mind to read the numbers on the top of the chip, you don't have the presence of mind to look for the schematic, to find out that this chip is not the same chip. That's fucking lazy and stupid and irresponsible. That is just fucking lazy and irresponsible, and there's, there's no reason for it. There's absolutely no reason for this shit. Okay. Ship is off. There's my TCR says, I hope that chip didn't kill the CPU. I don't think it would, because the, the communication chip that was put there is really just for communication. I don't think it, it, it does, it's not a power creation chip. If it was a power creation chip, I could see how putting a power creation chip where the clock chip is supposed to go could kill the CPU, but I don't think this would kill this. I don't think what they did necessarily killed the CPU. You would, for a communication chip to kill the CPU as opposed to a power chip, it would have to kill the CPU by hurting the CPU's feelings. I don't I think it's really hard to hurt this machine's feelings. All right. It's about as good as we're going to get. So, now let's see what we get when we plug it in. So charger input, 20 volts, good. So we've got charging. CPU V core is zero volts. Wait, I had, I had a little spike there for a moment. Hey, 0.5. Okay, so we've got, what? Yeah, there we go. Turn it on. All right, so now the next thing I gotta do is see if it'll charge a battery. This is pretty cool. CPU V core. Bada bing, bada boom. Will you recognize a battery within the operating system? What did the shopping mall replace the clock chip with? They replaced the clock chip with this. So they replaced this, which is the clock chip, with this, which is for something else entirely. Charger communication, bi-directional data line with charger. That's no good. We're going to put this back together and see if we have something resembling a working computer. Let's make this MacBook great again. They converted this MacBook to a PC. I'm going to convert it back to a MacBook. Remember, we still got to see that make sure that it can charge a battery. My, my guess is that what happened here is the original charge port was bad. They replaced the charge port with a good charge port, but because they didn't plug it in properly, it wasn't charging. So then they thought, let me look on YouTube for how to fix not charging and then saw me replace a rectangle on the board, so they replaced that rectangle on the board with an entirely different rectangle, and had a charging port not plugged in, and then gave up. That makes sense. So I think this may have actually never had a charging problem when it was sent here. It had a charging problem when the customer originally brought it to this, to this store. And here's the really sad and screwed up part of this, right? So I'm going to be charging this store for board repair. They're going to be charging their customer, at the very least, what I'm charging them. So if this customer had come to any other store, all they would have needed was a charge port and all they would have paid for was a charge port. This store's customer is likely going to be paying for board repair that they did not need until they brought it to the store, which is ridiculously unfair, but the way the world works. All right, so it says 1%, cover up the name. Let's see if it charges. So we're at 1% and I'm gonna wanna see if it gets to higher than 1%. I'm gonna leave it here for a little bit. 
and go off to do something else. And I'll be right back in a few minutes. All right, let's see if this thing charged. So we started at 1%, and it looks like we are up to 5%. Now, the one way to check and ensure that this is actually charging and not fake charging is to unplug the charger and see if the machine remains on. So I'm going to unplug my charger and see if it remains on. It does, and it actually jumped up to 6%. So now it's on, and it is able to charge the battery, and everything works. So that is how you fix a machine that was fucked up by a terrible mall franchise. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something. This across the street is the 9th Avenue Apple Store. This is prime retail space available. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What do I look like in front of my new store? Can we see how... Look, there's you, there's the Apple Store. This would be a perfect location. All right, now we're getting a little too far for fun, but it's just too tempting. It's like, it's right here. We got another one. Why are all these places going out of business right next to the Apple Store? It's, it's like they're calling me. This can't be a coincidence. The Apple Store in inflates their prices. They're inflating the costs in the whole neighborhood. I think I could afford to have that space right across from the Apple Store. That would be great. That would be too good. I would have a nice big sign and have somebody standing over there pointing people over there. Yeah, get a sandwich board person. Yeah, sam I have a sandwich board person right here. What do you think? That's not that's not going to attract a lot of customers. Time out. Why are you? <laughs> You're that's, not gonna, out. that's not going to attract a lot of customers. Come on. Ten bucks an hour. What do you say? Ow! <laughs> oh.